Now, what we can see today is that religion is re-entering the public sphere. The most obvious areas of uh, this re-entrance of religion in the public sphere is, of course, terrorism, unfortunately just or in the media related to Islamic terrorism, but we can also see it in, uh, in an academic discourse when the theory of secularization has been reversed since the 1970s. We can also see it in art and we can also see it in theology where there's a new awareness of you know, how important religion is and in particular with its political significance. May I show you just how I see the relationship between religion and politics? Maybe. You know, if we, if we say, you know, this is religion in red and this is politics. First of all, religion and politics, they have at least one thing in common. They are both concerned with the common good or the community. Now, the difference, though, is that politics is concerned with the control of the will of people and the bodies of the people, whereas religion concentrates on the very existential question of the control of the salvation of the soul. That's the ethics. We tell you what you should do in order to be saved in the end and we give you a promise whereas politics says we are purely temporal we are interested in this world and we want to make things happen positively in this world whereas religion is talking about the afterlife so if this is a timeline and let's start somewhere in classical uh, greek philosophy for instance uh, religion politics were somehow paralleled. Uh, what has happened during the Middle Ages, uh, religion, I say this is religion and this is politics. Religion claimed as supremacy over politics. You know this, uh, you know, the Pope is superior to uh, the princes or the emperor. Now, here in the Middle Ages, let's give you the date, 1300, religion climaxes. The Western world was dominated by a religious worldview, whereas politics somehow was kind of forming the background, but was always dependent on religion. Now, with the Reformation, and I think this is the key point in terms of history, uh, Western history, is that religion became subjectivized, privatized, and no longer a political matter. You know, it is up to you to sort it out with your God what you believe. That's Martin Luther. That means, at the same time, politics became more important. Yes. Politics became the dominant form of government, whereas religion and the authority and the monopoly to interpret the world has decreased in its authority and significance. What we can see, at least since 1989 and the fall of the Berlin Wall, and this rethinking of the role of religion in the public sphere, is that the lines are blurred, right? And I do this this way. And this is what I said about the new visibility of religion. It's no longer that we can distinguish between two separate spheres. I think it's blurred, intermingled and mixed up. And I think that is why it is important to study religion and politics today in order to be able to discern, once again, the different aspects of religion and politics.